New research from John Hopkins University is making headlines this week. It suggests that there could be a link between folic acid uh, and autism. And pregnant women and women looking to get pregnant are recommended to take these supplements with folic acid. Uh, it's causing some alarm, though, but it's looking now like there may be a connection, but uh, limited to more specific cases than originally reported. So we want to kind of hash it out. We don't want to scare anybody, but uh, joining us this morning to break down the real takeaways from this new research is Dr. Vandana Bidet from the Mayo Clinic. So we were just talking, you know, this is something that they suggest for pregnant women to take right. or, or women who know they're going to try to get pregnant, take those supplements, but right. you're saying there, there's a limit, though. Right. So this study actually also suggests that women should take folic acid because women who were deficient um, or had very low levels of folic acid and then also B12 had an increased risk of babies with autism, but at the same time, women who had very high or toxic levels, I mean, these were extremely high levels, um, also had a slightly increased risk of autism. So I think what we're learning from our study is that there's sort of a, a sweet spot. There's that middle ground uh, of folic acid and vitamin B12 intake in pregnant women. It's very important that they do take it, but probably don't take excessive supplements. So one prenatal vitamin during pregnancy daily, and then uh, also before pregnancy. So women who are thinking about getting pregnant before they conceive should actually uh, make sure that they take a prenatal vitamin to prevent spina bifida and other spinal cord de uh, defects and hopefully also decrease the risk of autism in their babies. Um, you know, we have a screen. A lot of people are, are um, scared, sure. you know, of autism because we really don't know right. everything about it. So we want to tell you what we do know up on your screen here. Now, autism uh, does have a genetic basis, uh, we, but the exact genes are unknown. They're trying to figure that out. Older prenatal age, especially both parents, may also be a risk for autism. That may or may not be true, right? right? Is that what right. people are thinking? Now, right. when they say older, what's the age that they're, are they there saying is 30s, no, 40s, or they no. just don't really know the age? We're actually talking more about 40s, 50s, and 60s. Oh, wow. Um, okay. And so, but we don't really understand that. We know that, especially if both parents are older, um, that there may be an increased risk. We know that there's genetics plays a huge role. Again, folic acid and vitamin D, if there's deficiency in women, that may slightly increase the risk of autism. We know that things like air pollution, so women who are exposed to excessive amounts of air pollution or um, PBAs or bisphenol A, which is in plastic products, mm. um, they can also have an increased risk of autism in their infants. So, you know, it's hard to regulate if you're going to have a toxic level or a normal level. Right. Would something like a um, tracker of what you're putting in your body, like I have the MyFitnessPal, but that also tells you the foods that you're eating, what you're taking, and you can track your percentage. So would that be a way, I mean, is there something that a woman out there who's like, well, how do I know if I'm taking too much? Right. You know, how right. do you do that? Well, I think you, you don't want to take excessive supplements. Okay. Um, so you want to eat healthy foods. Mm -hmm. We know that there's certain medications that you shouldn't take during pregnancy. Of course, don't smoke or drink alcohol. Those are very important. Um, but taking prudent doses. So one multivitamin a day rather than, say, a handful of supplements every day is very important. And then eating as healthy as possible. Maybe in the future, maybe we'll be checking vitamin B12 and folic acid levels in women to make sure that they're not toxic. Right now, what we can recommend is take one multivitamin, prenatal mm -hmm. vitamin a day, which includes um, adequate doses of folic acid and vitamin B12, but don't take excessive amounts. Good to know. Again, the bottom line, you know, with that new research that women do need to be careful, just don't take too much. Dr. Bidet says you should continue taking the recommended amount, though, so you don't have to quit them. Uh, it's important to take those prenatal vitamins. If you want to hear her advice again, we're posting this segment to the morning show page of newsforjacks.com. And in case you didn't